this PGA Tour event brought to you by 2K Sports. Today's coverage of the TGC Open is about to kick off. Delighted to have your company for this final round action. I'm Luke Elvey, here alongside Rich Beam. And Rich, this next golfer starts their round. What do you think about their chances? Luke, this player has got a massive lead, and sometimes those are the worst to have because you feel as a player the only way that you can lose it is if you mess it up. And trust me, somewhere in the back of their mind, this player understands that. So it's going to be a nervy start, no doubt, to this final round. Let's wait to see what happens. I'm looking forward to today, that's for sure. He hasn't managed to birdie this hole, this tournament. Oh, just missed. Right on four feet. Should make this one. Ooh, that looks like a pure stroke. And now that finds him in first place. And I don't give the rest of the field much hope today. Our leader is way out in front in this final round. Oh, that was pure. Let's take a look at Cameron Champ from earlier. This is how you do it seven days a week. Oh, that's the shot. Go ahead and make one. Don't worry about getting it up and down. Time for the second shot here on the second hole. This one looks just a fraction too long to me. Left yourself an opportunity. He has about 14 feet to the hole. This one has eyes for the hole. It was on a good line. An opportunity to make their par. And the putt drops, and we're moving on. And there's no movement on the leaderboard after that hole. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. Opting for the three wood. Well, now you just got to pray for a good line because that one's heading towards the sand. And he's not hit the mark on that approach. Oh, as we can see there, the wind definitely affecting that shot. Steps up to a punt of about 15 feet in distance. Oh, that's pure heart. Great fight to make that putt. Yeah, in the bunker, off the tee, great recovery. This effort from Tony Finau just a short time ago. I gotta say, his short game is one of the best in the game. Let's take a look at the leaderboard as it stands. We've arrived at a par four hole. Well, I like the look of the line here. This should find the fairway. Well, Luke, you're right. He did find grass, but it's not the closely mown grass. Going with the eight iron here. This one's bunker bound. Didn't quite strike that as cleanly as they would have hoped. Can't fault him there. This rough is nasty. No fault in missing the green. Time now for the fourth shot.
Oh, wouldn't that have been nice? And this one is for Bogey. Oh, nice line. Well, at least it wasn't a double. Leading by eight strokes now after that hole. And now teeing off on this par four hole. was wonderfully done second shot here on the fifth going with the six iron here well good looking shot here that's headed towards the green well that'll work up on the dance floor, could have been worse. Butting for birdie. Looking really good, this one. That'll help your scorecard, well hold. Oh, that settles the nerves right there, great stuff. And now we go to the sixth where this happened just a moment ago. Justin Thomas with an amazing shot. He's a sharp shooter from short range, isn't he? And after that hole, this is how the leaderboard looks. And after a birdie at the last, they take the honor on the hole. Absolutely tattooed that one. Second shot here on the sixth. Getting ready to play their third. This putt is from 14 feet. Look at him just surging ahead at the top of the leaderboard. Back-to-back -back birdies moving the right direction there, Luke. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. The lead is getting bigger and bigger. Deep into the front nine, here we are at the seventh hole. Going with the five wood. And let's catch this action from just a moment ago. Tony Fino with a fantastic shot. This is how you do it, seven days a week. Yes, it's in. Okay, let's get back to the action. This would be a momentum saver here, getting this up and down. Wow, that almost went in the hole. He has this putt to save his par. Yeah, he'll take that. Still in the lead now after that hole. And I don't give the rest of the field much hope today. Our leader is way out in front in this final round.
Just let that shot be water off a duck's back. That's in the sand. Yes, difficult light made a par here yesterday, a little bit more difficult today. Fairway bunker shots aren't the easiest, but you made that look pretty straightforward. It's fair to say that that approach didn't hit the mark. Well, definitely the wind had to have gotten a hold of that one. Didn't that look good for a long time? This next putt is for bogey. Okay, let's head to the next. No movement up or down on the leaderboard for this player. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. We've reached the ninth hole. Time to tee off. Well, this should find the short grass. How about this effort from JT just a little while ago? Well, what about this performance from the fairway bunker? And back to the course with the live action. This shot coming from around 220 yards. Straight down wind, tough to put a lot of spin on it and hold the green. Opting for the five wood. Well, that's big boy golf right there. Always like the aggressive play, going for it in two and get rewarded for it. Putting for Eagle here. That's outstanding, what a putt. And let's have one more look at that shot. Well, Rich, this is the pivotal final nine coming up and the player's perfectly positioned. They've given themselves a chance. <laughs> so impressive all week long. I got to say, this player is on top of the golfing world at the moment. Here we find ourselves on the tee of a long par four. Well, that's a touch of the Freddie Couples rhythm right there. From around 170 yards here. Wind is blowing left to right. Going to try and hold it against the wind. Opting for the five iron. Well, that's well played. And sets up a good birdie look here at the 10th. It's got a chance. A well hold. He'll take the birdie. He sits in first position. And I don't give the rest of the field much hope today. Our leader is way out in front in this final round. Well, I'm sure it looked better in their mind before they hit it. This lie's not great. Yeah, they parted this hole yesterday, but from easier circumstances today, a little more difficult, but still doable. This one needs to kick left. A nice approach shot there. Pin high inside the range. 
And this one for back-to-back -back birdies. And he just keeps putting a gap on the rest of the field. What a putt to hold. Kind of like it two in a row. He's feeling it. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. We have a par three on this one. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. Oh, I like that strike. This one's hitting well towards the green. Good shot there. All right, John. How's this putt looking? Looks like about 22 feet to the hole. Oh, I like the look of this. And that putt will drop, and he'll extend his lead. There's been action aplenty all over the course. How about this shot at the last? Looking forward to seeing what Tony Finau does here, Rich. And after this hole, that's how it looks. We have a par five here. Time to take advantage. That's a tad disappointing, isn't it? Well, let's see how this shot goes from the fairway bunker. Well, look, they birdied the hole yesterday. Good luck today on repeating that birdie. This one might roll into the rough. That's a smart option. Back into the fairway. Coming off a string of three birdies. Keep your fingers crossed for a bounce to the right. That's just inside the range. Well, this will be a big birdie here. Good putt to make. Their short game today has been absolutely sublime fun to watch. Big chance here. And another one goes. And with it, an increase of his lead. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. And I don't give the rest of the field much hope today. Our leader is way out in front in this final round. Not a bad line, this one. <laughs> Playing from around 210 yards here. Pretty good win back into the player's face. Seems to have chosen the three wood. Great ball striking. It's a thing of beauty. I tell you, you just dream about days like today. Greens and regulation spot on all day. Awesome. Wow. That's misjudged. A good opportunity here. Just six feet to the hole. And down she goes. He's currently sitting in first place. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. Let's see what happens here on the 15th. Looks like they've got the five wood. Oh, come on, sit. Setting up miles from the hole. Oh. 
not sure if they understood the lie of the land there, Rich. Well, I don't mind this par putt. Hang on, this looks pretty handy. That's well hold. And a nice feeling it must be to have that sizable of a lead coming down the stretch. Two great shots are required here because this hole is a long par four. Well, on the tee now, coming off a par. Chance to pipe one up the middle. Looks like this one's heading safely for the fairway. Time for the second shot at the 16th. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. Exit, stays left even. And not a bad approach, he'll be putting. Outside chance of the birdie, but a two putt here is still good. Ouch, that hurts. Five feet coming up to the cup. That's a good putt for par, you'll take it. John, what's going on? Talk to us, Goose. Down here on the 17th, guys, and Justin Thomas just getting ready to hit. From here, about 30 feet to the cup. And after that effort, let's take a look at how it stands. Let's see what happens here at the 17th. This hole is so important at this critical time. Go for it, lay it back, how much do you trust your swing? Yes, next one from the beach. It's going to be challenging to replicate the birdie from yesterday. And here we are with the third shot. Ooh, that almost went down. And with that, you can go and put a par on the card. And with that hole behind us, let's have a look at the contenders and the pretenders. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. And I don't give the rest of the field much hope today. Our leader is way out in front in this final round. And a chance to ice the tournament here. Holding the lead, playing the last. That's heading for the fairway. Luke, unfortunately, that got a horrible kick. Ended up in the rough. Opting for the hybrid, I think. This one's heading left, I think. Getting ready to play their third. Lining up here for a chance to win the tournament. What a putt to make. Looking really good. Just remember to get that nice rhythm in your stroke. Wow, shocking to say the least. How do you miss that? A moment like that, Rich, just fills you with joy. What a performance. Absolutely. What a performance all week long. Hung tough. Love watching that guy play.
Well, that just about concludes our coverage. I'm Luke Elvey, and on behalf of Rich Beam, plus all the hard-working folks at HB Studios, it's good night for now.